I just got the M1 Limited micro projector from AXA. I also ordered the optional MP3 player cable for the iPod. I am going to open this. Inside we have a power cable, the projector itself. I can get it out. The projector. The remote control. A handing carrying bag. The RCA cable. And a USB cable. Here we have a power button, headphone, video in, VGA, USB, and then here's the SD card slot right here. Other than that, there's no other buttons other than the slider on the front for focus. Just plugged it in, turning it on for the first time. There it is on my wall. I'm in a very bright room. I have my blinds open and my overhead light on, so it's very bright in here. I can see it, but it is not clear. I need to focus it. There we go. It looks pretty good. I can clearly see it on the wall. I could watch that. This is the limited. Uh, it's the 0.7 or 75, lu 75 lumens. Grabbing the the iPod cable here, and I'm going to plug that in. I'm going to grab my my touch. I always watch these videos and I see people do these with one hand. It's not as easy as it looks. There's my touch plugged in. So I'm not sure which setting to go to here. Oh, there it is. Find Lady Antebellum. I'm going to close my blinds. That's not too bad. Shooting it onto my roof <laughs> from my desk. Yeah, I think this thing's awesome. I don't know. It's still pretty bright in here, um, but it's definitely usable. I can clearly see it very well. It's fun. Now it's time to play around with it. Go to a different movie and check out something else. Make a stupid man.
Try something different. Well, it seems very responsive. It almost looks a little bit more washed out on the with my camcorder than it does in real life. The colors are pretty good. So volume up and a volume down on our remote, so let's try that. Looks like the volume's maxed out, judging by the signal there. Here's the projector. That's all it is right there. I'm going to go try it on a bigger surface. Uh, maybe somewhere darker. I don't know where that is right now because it's uh, noon. <laughs> so I will update that maybe later. I've been playing with it for a while. One of the things that bothers me is, is that the bottom, it has, I don't know if you can see on the picture, but it has little feet. But the little feet aren't exactly level. So when I place it on my level desk, it wobbles a little bit to one side. So kind of a little annoyance. Um, it does have, mm, I thought this one had the, option for the tripod it doesn't um, that's kind of a pain so I'm not sure what to do about that um, just kind of bugs me a little bit maybe I'll go get some little feet and stick them to the bottom um, <clears throat> let's see here I put an SD card in the back the SD card lights up on the screen um, I go to the SD card I copied over photos from my Canon camera um, they're all about um, the resolution on them is 3888 by 2592 so they're about I think 10 or 11 megapixel um, <clears throat> tried to open them up and the projector locked up um, let me try another one and see if it works ah it worked this time I don't think I had lit the the card load all the way. So it's on the slideshow option. Um, again, I have my light on in here, so it's really bright. <coughs> I'm going to go turn off the light. Some photos we took of at the lake. It does some pretty cool transitions. Um, I think it's totally in focus. Put the camcorder right on top of it. It seems to have some kind of hot spots. I don't know if that's the right term for it. Um, I'm noticing some flickering on the camcorder, but you don't see that in real life. I don't know if you'll see it in the final video, but the transitions through all the pictures really fast.
Um, colors are pretty bright. But this is why I bought it, is, is I wanted to be able to take the photos that I have done in the day and connect them to the camera so that we can all look at them at night at the end of the day. Uh, maybe project a movie so we can watch that onto the side of the trailer. The other thing I did was I have my Canon uh, XTI camera. Um, I have that set up through the AV input, which kind of sucks. Um, even on a, on a good TV it sucks, but it works and you can have it out there. Um, so if I take a photo, let's say, take a photo of this picture, you can see it shows up right away. I can play it back. Not the greatest, uh, not the greatest resolution because it's pushing it through the RCA cable. Um, whereas if I transfer them out and then put them back onto the SD card, you know, I think we'd have a little bit better luck, but I think that works out pretty good. Um, the menus are all very intuitive. You can go through setup and change all of your slideshow settings, um, how they transition, they fit to the screen, how fast. Over 90 inches, top gun, still fairly brightly lit room. Playing through RCA, or RGB cable. Here it is, hooked up to my laptop later at night. Watching G.I. Joe projected onto the side of my trailer. The neighborhood. The screen right now is about mm, 100 inches. Maybe less, I don't know. But it's pretty big. Working great.